Tonight, UW Medicine says it is notifying 974,000 patients about their medical files mistakenly becoming accessible on the internet. Dr. Tim Dellett says the files contained information about tests that were being given, like an HIV test, but not the test results. He said the files had little or no health information. Again, these files did not contain medical records. They did not contain any financial information. They did not contain any social security numbers. Therefore, in the absence of the financial information and social security numbers, we believe the risk of identity theft is very low. He says the files could be seen on the internet from December 4th through the 26th. He says it was due to internal human error, not some sort of cyber attack. Patients affected are in all 50 states.